Hello and welcome back to Passcom TV. Uh, we haven't done one of these for a while, and so it could be yeah, a little bit complicated, but we're going to crack on. Uh, we're here to talk to you today about a hot topic, and it sort of ties in relevant what we've done recently. Um, if you don't know what that's about, read on our website. We're going to crack on to the topic of analytics. Now, what are analytics? Analytics are basically a statistical uh, and graphical representation of data. And in our case, it's cool data. What's happening in your telephone system? So your queues and so on and so on. And there are four main key benefits of analytics. And what we're going to go into now is just have a breakdown and have a look at what they are. So here we have identifying optimizations. And identifying optimizations is basically looking for issues, processes that aren't working as they should do. Um, it could be options in your IVR. Could be that there are staff that need training or things like that. Um, there are multiple uh, aspects that could need optimization. Um, we can't go into all of them, but Matthias is going to show you a little bit about how to identify them. Yes. Yeah. So we will for sure show this on our system yes. because uh, it's uh, the best system on the market for doing this. It has everything? Sure. Has everything you need? Uh, has everything you need? Yeah. No. Just kidding. It's uh, <laughs> the best system on the market. <laughs> no. Um, if you have a look on the, uh, on the system, you have to understand what setup we do. Yeah. So this is a generic setup, and um, you could do it with other systems as well. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about analytics in general. Yeah. So what do we want to optimize? You have to understand it. So we have a setup where we, where we have an IVR menu. You can call it mm -hmm. the IVR, then it asks you three different things. Do you want to talk to sales? Do you want to talk to invoicing? Do you want to talk to the service? Customer service. Customer service. service. Yeah. So these are the three things. Mm -hmm. The menus nobody likes, but everybody needs. introduces yeah. or needs. Or yeah. well, you have to have some way of you have have. qualifying calls. One special thing is Passcom can deal with labels. Yeah. So this IVR leads into a team. Mm -hmm. And it's just one team. It's your employees, and we work with so-called call labels. Yeah. So we put a label on each call and say, he wants to talk about service. Yeah. He wants to talk about sales stuff. He wants to talk about whatnot. He is a VAP, a mm -hmm. VIP. Yeah. He is very unimportant. Maybe. <laughs> um, so you no can, customers that are No, no, they are not. But uh, you could label them if you if you have it. They are blacklisted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blacklisted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can work with those labels, and then you can dive into analytics. Yeah. And this is key to make good optimizations. Yeah. So Clean here, data. here I have an example on the screen. So this is the Passcom analytics, um, where you see what's going on in your team. I have only one team. This is called Passcom. And here you can see we had uh, nine calls and five wanted service, two sales and one invoicing. Mm -hmm. And here you can do already the first optimization. Uh, maybe you have a fourth option, mm -hmm. like support for Microsoft. That nobody, nobody ever calls or wants. Nobody wants it. Nobody yeah. cares for it. Yeah. Then you can just delete it. Why bother all the customers with this question when nobody wants yeah. it? Yeah. Basically, Something you like keep this. it simple, stupid. Your customers don't get lost. Uh, they speak to the right person. Customer service uh, is enhanced. Yes. Customers happy. Then you can do uh, further filtering. You could say, I want to see, let's say, a label, just sales. And then you can see the handle time. Or you can see how many people did not answer the call. So mm -hmm. this is the next optimization you can do. We lose two calls a day, or 10 calls a day, or mm -hmm. 100 calls a day. Uh, why don't we answer them? Yep. See what the reasons are. Mm -hmm. um, add more employees to this topic, sales. Yeah. Or you can also see, for example, with average handling time, if it's particularly long, maybe that employee needs some training. Yes. Um, and then you can use the call recording functionality of Passcom to listen to their calls. Um, and then you can identify areas where that you can improve their training. The employee will be happy because you've noticed that they are needed a little bit of extra support. You fix the issue. Your customer is going to be happy because they're getting the mm -hmm. service they require. So mm -hmm. I think that's clear. Identify the problems and fix them. optimize them. Yeah. So exactly. that's our. <laughs> that's what first, we're here for. First, first. Yeah. Uh, 
keep bidding. Exactly. Now, the next one is looking at predictive analytics. Uh, Matthias sort of touched on it a little bit already. Predictive analytics is taking the historical data and trying to predict trends of what's going to happen in the future. It could be time of day, it could be season, it could be per month, it could be whatever. Uh, in our particular scenario, we're going to look at time of day because obviously it's a demo setup. It doesn't have that much information just from today. And a few focus. calls from today. Yes. Yeah, from the last few hours. And they were, all, they were all from James, so I know just don't answer James and, uh, James and uh, we're happy. Yeah, anyway, good. But Matthias is going to dive in and yes. have a look at what this, how this works. Here, back in the analytics, we have 14 calls and we see that these were all about the last hour or something. Yeah. Um, here we have a, a chart where we see who wanted to talk about, or not who, but um, to see how many calls for which topic. Uh, now we could say, give me the label, let's say sales. And then you could also change the time frame. What does this do? You can then exactly say, we have a reduced amount of calls on Friday, mm -hmm. but just afternoon mm -hmm. and just for sales. So I don't need that much salespeople mm -hmm. because many administrators have some kind of spare time on Friday. So they call because they can solve the issues on Friday. So yeah. customer support has to be there. And you can exactly analyze these trends yeah. and do a forecast for mm -hmm. what you need. And maybe you can change your business hours. Maybe you can um, change how many employees are there on which day mm -hmm. to which time. Yeah. And I think this is very, very handy. And if you offer any sort of services, for example, and you've got uh, service level agreements, and your analytics are telling you that no one's calling in SLR 2, for example, mm -hmm. during that time frame, then you, know, you adapt your offering to make sure that it passes to what they are actually calling you at yes. uh, and things like that. So it's all just adapting the whole process. And the more information you have from the past that you can apply to the present, the better you can make your future offering. Uh, and that is what predictive analytics is for. Um, the next thing is you know, a bit of real-time monitoring, uh, looking for what's happening right now. Now, yes. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, it could be plenty of things. It could be that you have a spike in call volumes because uh, you know, as a service provider, it could be that uh, your uh, internet service provider, it could be that one of your servers is down or something. Um, and you need to be able to let people know that one, you know about the issue, so you've identified it because of the increase in call volumes to customer support. Uh, and two, you then tell your customers, yes, we know, with a custom prompt, which you can also which, do. In, which you can do very, yeah. very easily. And, um, and then other things, like you can bring in extra agents onto the queue uh, to make sure you clear the backlog, get uh, people out of the queue as quickly as possible, answer all the uh, calls as quickly as possible so you don't have customers waiting for a long period of time. And how that looks like, Matisse is going to show us now. Uh, yes, so we have the live dashboard for it. Um, telling you a little bit about life again. Mm -hmm. So um, in some tools, you have a clear um, two sections or even two products where yeah. you have the historical data, BI analysis, I don't know, mm -hmm. and the life data. I think it's key to have all in one system. And then you can mix everything. You yeah. can say, I want here this life statistic combined with the historical data that I can make fast decision. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I have a spike now. It's Friday afternoon or it's Monday morning, mm -hmm. whatnot. Was it the same on the last Monday or do I have to panic now? Yeah, exactly. So that's yeah. something. So I think if you can mix it, yeah. uh, it's good. Making Your system should have life data and historical data in one place. And that's not easy. No because you have then all the data in your database mm -hmm. and uh, historical data, you have to aggregate it. And, but on the other hand, you have to have the live data now. Yeah. And, but we did it. Let's see. Take it away. Here we have um, the call statistics. It's a little bit empty uh, because we have only one team and we have only one member, um, which is waiting for a call and which is active. So now if somebody calls like James, he tries. And tries. Press one. And here is our great IVR. Whatever he presses, I will not answer the call. So he's lost. Now here we see that James is waiting. He's waiting for, now it, it's, it's yellow because he's waiting for 10 seconds already. The KPIs are... Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. um, but you can now see 
the queue is filling up. You can see how many are waiting, how long they are waiting, how bad the situation is. Mm -hmm. You can add more agents dynamically um, to, oh, it's red I'm now. Red. So yeah, now oh, oh. try to panic. Yeah, I'm going to hang up now Stop because yeah. I, I just can't bother waiting anymore. I'm going to go find yes. another company. So you have all the live, the live data. Yeah. And the cool thing is you can also create new dashboards. Mm -hmm. And then you can mix it. You can say, I want to see this live data. Mm -hmm. And I want to see this historical data. And I want to aggregate it and uh, whatnot. And then so, you, could, you put it onto like a wallboard screen in your office. Yes. Remove any personal data for data protection, DD, GDPR. Yeah, we, we will see for empowering. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right, that sort of moves on to the, the next part of empowering employees. Thanks very yes. much for the prompt there. Uh, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> um, so yeah, empowering employees. What's that about? Basically, if you've got well-informed, well-trained, happy employees, they are going to reward you by delivering better customer service. Now, an element of that is giving them the information and the tools they need to be able to deliver that customer service. And that is what the sort of the live wallboards and part of what our contact center tools, the skills-based routing, the call labels uh, helps you in offering. There's obviously a lot that you have to do yourself, uh, but we provide you with the framework and the information that you can then adapt it according to your needs. So Matthias, how would this look like? Yeah, we go uh, back into it. One moment. We go back into it. And here, let's say I want something that looks like the team uh, dashboard. Then I can do something. I can go to settings. I say save as whatever. And now I can create a new dashboard, a completely new dashboard. Mm -hmm. Let's say fit to the needs of the agent. Yeah. Maybe of the agent which uh, uh, works for sales okay. or something. Yeah. Uh, or for the supervisor or for the CEO. Mm -hmm. Just one graph again. So. Yeah, it's going up, hopefully, lots of money That's coming it. into the bank account. That's good. Yeah. That's what he wants to see. So you can customize it. And the good thing is that you can also uh, care about data protection. Mm -hmm. I will show you um, here. This is the new dashboard. I said this is too much. Nobody wants to read a lot of uh, data. That's boring. I want to remove everything which is related to... Uh, a single person. Now it looks like this. And maybe I want now to add another table, chart, graph, whatever, out of our call data or some live statistics mm -hmm. or whatever. And then you go ahead and build it like you want. Yep. And then it's just a URL which you can share or you can create a user which can read a mm -hmm. set of dashboards. Yep. So you could create something like these are the employee dashboards. Everybody's allowed to see them. Mm -hmm. And then he can log into the system and just look to the yeah. dashboard. Or you could have it on a screen like this one behind us yes. uh, in the office somewhere. Now, this is very important. No personal data because you never know. You have visitors. Yeah, you can start for free. So no personal data. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so there. Um, I think we've covered quite a lot of what analytics can do. Obviously, there's a lot more, uh, especially if you tie it in with the whole platform that we offer, yes. um, all the things that you can actually do. If you want more information, then start free, like it says there, uh, on our website. Just create a cloud instance, do a download of the ISO file, uh, and so on and so on. Or join us at one of our boot camps on Thursdays and uh, ask away. Any questions you have, just let us know. Thanks very much for watching. See you.